All right, fourth graders. So we are here in our language arts course, and this is your weekly overview video. So this week in reading, we're doing something just slightly different, and we are going to work on a project that will carry over all the way through Friday. So when we click on Monday, we're going to open this folder and take a look. You are attending a live meeting at nine o'clock. If you are here on campus and you are doing this project, then you have instruction from your teacher first thing in the morning. You're going to be watching a couple videos on Monday, an introduction, basically talking about just immigration to America. And we're going to focus on like what caused some of these immigrants to leave their homes and travel to America. We're also going to talk about the effect that coming to America had on their lives. There's a copy of the text that we're going to be focused on this week. It is called 19th Century Migration to America. And there's a copy of that text in each day in each folder. There's a brochure that you guys are going to be working on. Uh, we'll talk more about that in our live session where we actually build and start to like create that brochure together. But each day these videos are going to walk you through the section you are going to complete on your own. The last thing you're going to do on Monday is watch the day one vocabulary video. Let's take a look at Tuesday. Again, you are attending a live meeting at nine o'clock Then you're going to watch this video. This is the second day of the project. We're going to talk about the difference between a firsthand and secondhand account. I know that we've talked about that before, but we'll go into more detail in this video. And then you are going to create a firsthand account for an immigrant that you are choosing to research. Again, we will be talking about this more during our live meetings throughout the week. There is a teacher example each day of the completed sections of the brochure. I did not show you Monday, but here you're getting a glimpse of like my firsthand account, my teacher example on Tuesday. Again, you have a copy of the text each day for you to refer to as you are completing your section of the brochure and again the vocabulary videos. We'll scroll back and then we will go right into Wednesday. It's a very similar format guys each day this week. Again, the live meeting at nine o'clock. You are watching then project day three. This day we're going to focus on character traits and evidence to support Again, my completed copy of my brochure, along with a list of character traits in case you need help probably thinking of some character traits that maybe describe your immigrant, the copy of the text, and then vocabulary day three. I'm going to scroll back up and now go into Thursday's folder. Thursday, you're going to watch a video. It's kind of a, um, like a virtual field trip of Ellis Island where immigrants arrive in New York. Then you are going to watch this short video. This is day four, where you will add a nonfiction text feature to your brochure. Again, here's a, an example of mine. You can see that I did a timeline. Again, the videos, guys, they will walk you through the expectations and exactly what you're doing each day. So don't stress about that too much now. Again, the copy of the text for you to refer to as you complete this day and the vocab video. When we take a look at the final day, that's Friday, we can see that we have a couple different assessments and graded work here. So you are going to first complete the vocab quiz on weeks three and four. Um, if you need to, you can go back to study to prepare for that quiz. You also have a reading assessment you are going to look at some nonfiction text features that have been labeled in a document. And we will talk more about this during our live session today. And we're going to not only identify the nonfiction text features, but also describe how they help support the text. What is it that they are showing or explaining in relation to the text that you have? Finally, you're going to complete and upload your brochure. There is a rubric in this assignment, guys. You need to make sure you're looking at it. You can earn a total of eight points on your brochure. And last but not least, the day five vocabulary video. That's your overview for the week. Again, we'll talk more about this each day. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know.